If a plant gets sad, will other plants photosympathize with it? What's up everyone? Today I'm going to share my air pruning pot do-it-yourself method. So there's a couple things you're going to need for this. You're going to need some weed block or landscaping paper. I got this for $13 at a uh, home improvement store. You're going to need some containers with holes in them or you can just make the holes yourself. And for this method I like to use binder clips. So you can get different sizes depending on the size of your crate that would fit. So, so the example I'm going to show you here is I've got this mill crate that I used has the holes in it for the aeration and basically I put the weed block fabric along the inside so that it blocks the bottom and then it also blocks the sides. Now when I put the dirt and soil in there it won't fall out but the roots can still reach air. Now the whole point of air pruning is so that when the roots grow towards the edge of the container they get a little bit of oxygen and that stops them from continuing to grow and instead they'll grow towards the base of the stem again. Now with regular pots that don't have aeration on the ends what will happen is the roots will get root bound and they'll just circle around the plant or the potting plant and eventually they'll strangle themselves so aerating or air pruning it really helps to create a better root system. Let me take this apart real quick and I'll show you guys what I basically did. So I just cut the weed fabric, weed block fabric, and I put it down along the bottom and the edges, which you want to do now. And then I'm just going to clip it, use these binder clips and clip them right on the top. Okay. And then I'll just fill that with dirt and then it'll keep it all in place. So I have one that's already made. Oh yeah, another thing. You're probably wondering, you know, what's with these, uh, these little handles on the top. You can actually remove these and then it would look a lot better. So you just take those off and now it blends in with the rest of the pot. Looks great. So you want to keep these handles though because if you ever want to move these binder clips, you can just put them back in and then remove those binder clips. So I have some different ones that I already pre-made. I made these already. These are some air pruning pots. These are out of smaller containers, but it's the same method here. I use small binder clips on the edges here, remove the handles. And I also have I put a plant in this one already, but as you can see, it has the binder clips here holding the weed block fabric into place. I already um, transplanted my medicinal salad plant into here. And I'm going to bring this in closer so you guys can see what that looks like right here with the binder clips. This has been out on my balcony. It's been really windy, but it's been holding everything together super sturdy. Oh, I love this design, especially the milk crates. I really like using milk crates because they're just so sturdy. I also have this file crate that I already made. I didn't put any plants in there yet, so I put this piece of cardboard to stop all the uh, soil from blowing out because it's been really windy, but check that out. This is ready to plant, so this is great for people that don't have access to their own land that, or a big garden. And you can just fill up these file crates, you know, put them along your balcony or porch, or even indoors if you have a nice sunny window that you can put them by and then you can grow your own vegetables anywhere. Now here's a method that I did without using any binder clips. 
So basically for this one, I put the weed block along the edges here, and then I just placed one bin on top of the other, and that held it nicely in place. So these containers I got from the dollar store, super affordable as well. Also these, ah, these mini file crates also from the dollar store. So those were really affordable. And these file crates, ah, I got these for under five bucks. So again, you're just gonna need some weed block fabric, under 13 bucks. The file crates, five bucks, or you can use your dollar store containers. You can put the uh, binder clips to keep it in place, and that's it. You got yourself your own air pruning pots for real cheap. Now, there are some fabric pots that would do the same air pruning method, but I don't like those because they tend to be kind of flimsy and like when you move them around, they just flop around. They're not really durable. You know, they, they degrade over time. And I like a sturdy base that these provide so I can actually move it around. It's, it's much more sturdy. Now there are sturdier pots out there that are pre-made. I think they're called air pots. They have, uh, they look spiky with the holes on the ends. But those are super expensive and, you know, just making my own saves me a ton of money so I can put my money into other resources like indoor growing lights or more seeds. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was my do-it-yourself air pruning pot method. And if you like the video, just give me a thumbs up and share the video if you'd like. But that's it for today. and. Go out there and enjoy the season. Happy planting now.